Yo, what is up? It's your boy, It's Swags from It's Swags Vlux. And you already know what time it is. I am starting something new on my channel, and it's called Story Time. I feel like we about to do some story times, man, because I got a lot of funny ass stories. I got a lot of crazy stories, and it's just I think it's about time to start something new and bring something new to the channel. I also got challenges and just you know all type of shit coming to the channel because this is a vlog channel, so I want to mixture all that in there. So let's get right into it. In New York, I'm in Little Rock, hiding in my socks, running from a up, and I shoot that up. Today's story time is gonna be a crazy one because this story is so fucking funny to me. And it's basically, this story is when I had my first threesome and like how it happened, what happened, and just the whole situation and events of it happening. Now, this shit happened a few years ago, like a minute ago. Uh, I'm talking about like uh, some years ago. So I'm gonna try to remember it the best way I can. Uh, I, I still remember this shit, but you know what I'm saying? It was it was a crazy ass moment, like crazy ass time. And it was just, you know, niggas was drunk and shit. So, but, all right, so basically what happened was we had went, me and my bros, uh, I don't want to name names, but uh, I don't name nicknames. Like, it was me, my brother, Pip Smith, uh, Black Rock, uh, 3J, my cousin Neil. I think my cousin Tyree was there, I think. Tree. I can't remember, but it was like, it was like probably 10 of us. We went to Miami University. It's in Oxford. It's in Ohio. Went to Miami U. And I had some friends. I had some friends up there. I, I had a chick that I used to mess with that uh, went to school up there and shit. So, like, I didn't, I didn't know she was going to be up there when I had went and shit. But, like, she was up there. So, like, basically, we went to this club. I think it was called, uh, like, Stadium, I think, or something like that. It was, like, a big-ass two, like, two-four club and shit. So, we went up there, and, like, we was all like, chilling. We was drinking these big-ass drinks called trash cans. Like, it's probably, like, this big, and then they put a Red Bull on the top of it. And they mix, like, mass liquor. So, we is all, like, my team, like, we all just drinking, chilling, turned up, you know what I'm saying? We on a dance floor, they dancing and stuff. So, like, after that, like, I'm walking around a club and shit, and I see, like, the chick that I used to, that I used to, like, talk to or whatever, like, mess with or whatever, she was up there, and she was like, she was like, sweet? I was like, yeah, what's, what's good? Like, I, I was like, damn, I didn't know you was gonna be up there. Like, I really didn't know she was gonna be up there. And she was with her friend and shit. Like, she was with, like, I guess her roommate, I guess. Because, you know, they be having, like, roommates and shit in college and dorms and shit. So, like, like we were just chatting and shit. And I see her friend just, like, keep looking at me and shit. She was like, oh, so this wig, this what you talking about? Oh, this wig, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, uh, I was like, yeah, I was like, what's up? Like, you you be in the background on the phone and shit. Like, she was like, yeah, she was like, I didn't know you were so tall. Like, I thought you was a short nigga, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, man, what? Like, I'm 6'6". Six, six. Like, how am I short? Like, so, so we basically was like, you trying to go to the bar, get some drinks. So they got some drinks. So we all up just down there. I'm with my squad. It's just them. So we all dancing. I'm getting twerked up and shit. Like, oh, woo, woo. Like, you know what I'm saying? And like they start, I guess the drinks start flowing. I guess the drinks start flowing, and they start getting touchy and filly and shit. And uh, like this is not a PG-13 story, so I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm not gonna go into super detail, but I'm gonna go into some details. So if you're a little like if you younger than like 13 or like younger than 16, you might wanna click off this video and go watch something else. Like I'll probably put that at the beginning of the video too. This is not a PG-13 video. But, like, they started touching and Philly and shit. So I'm just dancing. Like, I'm dancing on both of them. Like, one in the front of me, one in the back of me. I'm turning around, that's with her. I'm turning around, that's with her. My boy's just over there, you know, doing that thing. We all just living, just feeling good about the situation. So, like, after that, like, you know what I'm saying? We, I just started, like, I don't know. I guess we started getting drunk or whatever. It started getting, like, them drinks started flowing. So... 
I just see them like talking to each other. And then, so my boys came over there, it was like, I bet you won't kiss. So they started kissing, like, woo, 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 woo. And then it was like, uh, it, like, it, like, they just started kissing this shit. And then we started dancing a little bit more. And it became one of those situations where it's like me. And then, like, I'm by myself, but I'm with them too. So they talking about, like, going back to the dorm rooms or whatever. And they was talking about, you can't, like, it, it started with, like, you can't handle both of us, or you can't handle me, and I was like, bro, I can handle both of y'all, like, if one chick said it, like, you can't handle me, and I looked at her, like, bro, I can handle both of y'all, and then they looked at each other, and then they was like, well, well, so, after that, like, they started laughing and shit, and then they started feeling out on me and stuff, so I'm like, oh, Oh, like, hey, hold on, bros. Like, I might have to slide out on y'all niggas. But this is the crazy part. I rolled up there with them. So, I didn't drive up there. Like, so I rolled with my homies. So, like, basically, the club lad, and we was looking for my one cousin, Neil. And this nigga was like, <laughs> we got the club let out or whatever. So, we walk into the entrance. We see this nigga in the corner by the entrance. Just in the corner tonguing this chick down and we was like bro is that deal and then we get this nigga like man get your ass up bro we got to leave we, we get we we taking pictures of this nigga and everything like he was drunk as hell so we all go outside the club and shit and i'm trying to figure my situation out everybody like yo let's go get something to eat let's do this let's do that so i'm like yo like i, I put one of my niggas inside like yo yo bro like hey i got i got a situation here i don't know what's about to happen but it's lit right now it's lit so like, he was like, I don't really understand, but bro, you roll with us, so, I mean, we all gotta go get something to eat, that's like another two hours, three hours, maybe, so, I mean, you gonna do you real quick, and then link back up with us, and I was like, alright, that's a bet, so, they end up going to Skyline, I end up going to Skyline with them, it's, it's a chili place, like, where it got cheese cones and shit around, and... I go in there real quick and I get like two cheese cones, eat that shit real quick, and I, I'm with the chicks, and they're like, "Come on, let's walk back to the dorm." So it was like down the street for real, but it was a nice little walk. So I'm, I'm walking with both of them. So they like, they like start daring me and shit. Like they start doing shit, and I'm trying to keep it. I'm trying to keep it like PG-13. I ain't trying to keep it like X-rated, but basically it was some weird shit going on. Like uh, one of the girls, you know, start topping the nigga, start topping. If you don't know what topping is, I don't even know what to tell you. Uh, start in the middle of the street, though, no, bro. Like, she pulled me inside the street in the middle of the street, and then the other girls join in. So I'm like, this, like, what the fuck? And matter, it, it's it's like, it's like two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning on campus, like, so it ain't nothing going out. So I'm like, because they dared me, they was like, I bet you won't pull it out. And I was like, oh shit, like. Like, you know what I mean? So then we kept walking. I'm rapping and shit. I'm like, yo, y'all hot, man. Come on, let's walk. Like, so then we walking and shit. They talking like mad shit. Like, oh, we can't wait to get back to the dorms. You can't handle us. Blah, 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 blah. So then we get like to the dorms, but we in front of the building. This big ass tree. They're like, come here. Start. Woo, 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 woo. Both of them to me. And I'm like, oh, shit, nigga. Like, what the fuck going on here, bro? So. I was like, man, fuck all that, man. Like, we doing too much, man. Let's go back to the dorms. So we go in the dorms and shit. And, uh, like, one chick had to go to the bathroom. So, like, this this when the story gets so fucking funny, bro. Like, this shit is hilarious. So I go in, I go in the dorm room with the one chick that I already knew. So, you know what I mean? We still got, we chilling and shit. We on a, on a blue dorm room bunk beds and shit. So I start hitting that shit from the back. Like, pow, pow, like... So then after that, I'm hitting it and I hear something. I hear the, like the door creak open and shit. And it's her roommate. Why is why she coming there with a fucking bagel? She was eating a bagel and shit. Don't ask me where the fuck she got a bagel from. So she eating a bagel, right? She sits down at the at the computer desk. I'm hitting the other chick like wow, wow. She watching me do it. Like she eating a bagel and watching me. And I'm turning around like, what the fuck is you doing? And then she was like, get that shit, girl. She was hyping her girl up like. That shit, girl. I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. So I'm just hitting it. My phone going stupid. Like, my brother and them calling me like, bro, where, what are you doing? They text me. I'm like, man, give me like 10 minutes. Give me like 10 minutes, bro. Give me like 10 minutes. So I started hitting this shit. And then I was like, so what? You just going to sit there and watch? So the other chick came. The other chick came. 
and she got in the bed too. So they start kissing each other. Like, like I'm hitting the chick from the back. And then the other chick, she get on the bed, she bend over, they kissing each other. So I, I go and hit the other chick. Like, ow, ow, ow. So I'm hitting both of them at the same time on some other shit. And don't worry, nigga have protection, bro. I'm out there every day. So like it was like that. So I'm hitting both of them and shit. They kissing and whatever. So then my phone going, I answered that shit. I'm hitting it like, wow. Hey, my brother like, man, nigga, come on, bro. We about to leave your ass, nigga. We rolling down the street now. I was like, oh, shit. So I was like, hold on, bro, hold on, bro. So like, I'm hit, I start hitting that shit faster. Like, bah, 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 bah. I try to get that nigga, bro. Like, bloop, bloop. So then after that, like, they kept calling me and texting me. I was like, man, I got a dip. I got a dip. So I started like, I just said, fuck it. I pulled on my pants, put on my shirt or whatever. I think I have my shirt on. I don't know. I can't remember. I think I have my shirt on. So I had that shit on. I was like, yo, I'm gonna hit you. I got a dip. I got a dip. So I'm, I'm trying to figure my way out the door. I don't even know how to fucking get out. And I finally found a way out through that, like one of these fire exits or whatever. So I'm running down the street, pulling my pants up and shit, like running. Like running, bro, pulling my pants up. And I see them niggas roll past. It was like, oh, bitch. Like, and they, they driving. And I'm fucking running to the car, pulling my pants up, like. So I get in the fucking car, bro. I get in the fucking car. And my nigga, and it was like, bro, uh, you want all sweaty and shit? I was like, nigga, you're supposed to leave me. It was like, this nigga coming in here smelling like old ass gym socks and pussy. And it was just getting, they was pounding me, bro. And I was like, man, are you serious right now? And they was like, man, nigga, how the hell you gonna go do that shit knowing we about to leave? We gotta like 45 minutes drive back home. So they in the car, we all capping and roasting and shit. They was like, man, this nigga wild as hell, bro. And I was like, nigga, if a girl, if two girls asked you saying that you can't handle them and they trying to have a threesome, nigga, you're not about to pass that shit up. Like, I'm just saying, bro, you're not about to pass that shit up. I don't give a fuck. Like, so. They was like, nigga, was it good? I was like, yeah, it was kind of lit. But man, y'all niggas start calling me so I couldn't do shit. So I'm telling them the story of what happened. And they all in the car just getting weak as shit, bro. Like, I, I probably, that was probably one of the craziest, like, times that I ever had. Like, I had some wild ass moments. Like, I had some crazy ass moments. But that was probably the most memorable one. Like, that shit was so lit, bro. And just crazy as fuck, man. Shout out to Oxford University, man. Miami U, man. Shout out to y'all niggas, man. That shit is lit back in the day. But, man, let me know if, let me know what you guys think about this story, man. I, I didn't really go into detail, but I did go into some detail, man. Let me know if you guys want to hear more about these story times and just the litiness that my life consists of, bro. And, um, and you know what I'm saying? Let me know what's good, man. Like, uh, bro, number seven is coming to the channel soon. Um... I don't know, man. I just got a lot of shit going on. I'm about to do some challenges I've been seeing on YouTube. I want to do them. Um, I can't tell you what challenges I'm doing just yet. I'm trying to keep that shit on the low, but stay tuned to my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Snapchat, man. All that shit's in the links in the description. I will put my Snapchat, Snap code, and probably the thumbnail. And uh, I'll probably post it actually in this video somewhere, like in the corner somewhere. You could just snap that shit and add me on Snapchat. So, uh, hit your boy up, man. It's your boy, Iswigs, from Iswigs Vlogs. You already know how we're doing this, man. Let's get this up to, like, 100 likes, man. Let's get the channel up to, like, 100 subscribers. Let's let's do this shit, man. Vlogs coming. Lidiness, man. Positive vibes only. Wavy vibes only. Saucy vibes only. You already know how we're doing it, bro. And, um, just keep supporting your boy. I'm Louis down right now, bro. Louis Belt. Louis Messenger Bag. Louis rolling in my pocket. You already know how we rocking, bro. Wavy gang only, man. Shouts out to all my YouTubers. Shout out to all my bros. And make sure you check out my gaming channel. Links in the description over on uh, Urban Gamers XYAB. You can see the little annotated thing in the corner up there. That's my uh, Urban Gamers thing right there. So, yeah, you already know. More story time videos coming, man. Be on the lookout for that. More challenges, more vlogs, man. You already know how I do. It's your boy, Swigs. And we up through Wavy Vibes on. Let's get it. Call scene, pick up a text, the bag, bitch, you stingy. I'm in all black like a ninja. Chain got influenza. Walk in the trap house, you McCarty ass for credential. Got that? I'm going real the beast. I want my enemies. Negative energy. I could do anything. I got the guillotine off of their head. Off of their head.
Known up from off of your head, uh, dripping so much sauce on your bitch.